Hey, welcome back everybody. Um, this is another edition of Incredibly Stupid Science. I've got a, a new mixture of thermite I am testing out. And uh, I've got a pile of uh, potassium permanganate in there so, uh, that surrounds a stack of, I think, four one and a half inch length pieces of magnesium ribbon. And then I have uh, a red iron oxide, it's uh, just pure iron 3 oxide uh, that I made. Uh, you can test it with a magnet, uh, none of it is attracted to a magnet. I can uh, show off some of that stuff in a later video. And then the other stuff is just some uh, iron 2, 3 oxide, which is uh, basically synthetic magnetite, um, which burns pretty much as well. Not as hot, but it's easier to ignite. Um, I've got that below um, the reaction and along the sides of it and in the middle I just kind of have a plug of uh, synthetic ruby uh, feedstock so we'll see if uh, this works out. I'm pouring a whole bunch of uh, glycerin here. That should be enough. Or too much. I think that would have gone off by now, but uh, let's see if we can get a look down inside there. Oh, there we go. Starting to smoke. <clears throat> Damn, that worked uh, fairly well. I mean, that, that's still quite a flame shooting out of there. Um, this is probably the, the largest batch of thermite I've made yet. I know in my last video I said I wouldn't make any uh, larger batches, but this one is... Uh, let's see here. I guess it's about twice as big. So, uh, yeah. We'll take a look at the, what that looks like here in a little bit. This little hole here in the side, let me turn the light off. That little hole right there on the side, that was made from uh, some elemental calcium that I'd made uh, a number of days back. Um, and so then all the iron oxide I had was, you know, stuff that I'd been making over the past, uh, I don't know. I guess I made it back in May of this year. And uh, I officially uh, uh, finished off one of the other beakers that I had with uh, the wet iron oxide in there, just kind of sitting around until I finally decided, hey, you know, I kind of need this stuff because I'm running low on all my other my all my other iron oxide. So, but uh, yeah, it's still putting off pretty good flame. I also added. Uh, to this mixture some potassium nitrate uh, so that I'd have a good oxidizer in the mix. Uh, just a tiny bit. And then on top, uh, along with, I guess it was on top of the iron 3 oxide uh, aluminum powder mix um, using the same stoichiometry uh, 1 to 3 ratio of uh, the iron 2, 3 oxide along with the aluminum powder. Um, on top of that I had a, um, a mix of aluminum powder and sulfur. Um, I probably had that in, I don't know, a 2 to 1 ratio of uh, aluminum to sulfur. And then uh, of course I had the Magnesium strips in there. I poured in about, uh, I don't know, 
I didn't measure it. I would say between four to six grams of potassium permanganate, and then I just uh, squirted in a whole bunch of glycerin, which you guys saw. Um, that would have ignited the magnesium ribbon, which burns uh, up to 4,000 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, burns at something Celsius. And uh, yeah, I'm trying to be as technically accurate as I can here. But, uh, yeah. I won't be able to touch that for a while. I imagine that. That spit out quite a bit of stuff. Here, let me see if I can get that in focus. And the cool thing is, is I did not surround the entire thing with sand, even though it kind of looks that way. Uh, out the side here, we're spitting uh, sand up from underneath. So some of that could actually be sand that was spit up from the side here. Uh, sorry about the jerky camera movements. Um, yeah, there's still a fair amount of smoke coming out of there. And I know I definitely do not want to touch that for a while. But, uh, I don't know. I'm hoping that maybe I've got like a little cavity within uh, the lump of uh, iron and uh, slag, uh, which is technically corundum. Um, and I'm hoping I've got like a little cavity base inside of there that uh, would have entrapped some of the ruby feedstock, uh, which was, uh, oh, what was it? It was the 96% aluminum oxide to 4% by weight, or I should say by mass uh, mixture of synthetic ruby mixture. Um, so, yeah. We'll see how that goes. Uh, I can't believe how much uh, smoke is still coming off of there. But it was definitely very well contained. I know uh, probably some of my neighbors are getting a whiff of that and somewhat pissed off at me but uh, neighbor over there <laughs> smokes pot and it gets in our windows all the time so I don't really give a shit so anyhow that's it uh, I guess I'm going to leave you guys all in the dark there's a little bit of a moon out there you can kind of see through the trees this is my night <clears throat> Yep, kind of a cool ending to a, a shitty day, you know, for Monday, you know, we'll see how the rest of the week goes, so, I guess until next time, I think that thing's just going to continue to smoke, seems like more smoke's coming out now than it was a few minutes ago, maybe I really screwed up the mixture down in the middle, or, I don't know, we'll see, that could be some crystal forming smoke there